Hello guys, Moritz here, and today, uh, wait a second, oh yeah, that's much better. So today we are going to try to repair this broken Raspberry Pi, and you might remember that this chip up here, which is the Wi-Fi chip, is broken and heats up a lot when you turn the Raspberry Pi on, and today we are going to try to desolder it and see if that fixes the problem and if we can use this Raspberry Pi ever again. And first of all I wanted to show you how much it heats up and that's why we got a thermometer down here in the left corner and I will just plug it in and then we'll see how much it heats up. So I hope you can see the temperature reading right here and I'll just go ahead and I will just plug the Raspberry Pi in and as you can see the Raspberry Pi turned on and now let's get our probe And as you can see, it gets quite hot. So whenever I try to start the Raspberry Pi, it heats up too much and then the Raspberry Pi shuts itself down. So today we are going to try and remove this Wi-Fi chip and see if it fixes the problem or if we blow the whole thing up. So the chip in question is this tiny guy here. So the plan is to heat this chip up and get rid of it. So I will put some solder on it. So we get a better heat transfer and now I will try to get rid of it. Oh, there we go. A little bit more and got it. So here you can see the area where the chip was soldered before, right here. And now we have to make sure that there are no short circuits, but right now it looks pretty good. But I think there right in the corner are some connections and I will just barely touch it with my iron. So I think that this looks fine for everyone that is interested. This is the chip we just desoldered. You can just barely make out the small BGA connections. Let's try plugging the Raspberry Pi back into a power source and we'll see what happens. I will just remove the micro SD card just for the case it decides to go up in smoke and flames. There goes nothing. So I don't know if you can see it, but the red light turned on right there and it looks fine to me. It's not getting hot. So let's try plugging the hard drive and micro SD card back in. First of all, we'll try it only with the micro SD card. You see the green light is blinking and I think it worked. So let's hook everything back together and then we'll check if we can lock into the Raspberry Pi. So I've connected everything. We got our hard drive over here, the Raspberry Pi right here, the ATX Raspberry here. I didn't connect the fan control because that's not necessary for, for this test. We've got our 12 volts coming from here, going to the buck converter, going to the ATX Raspberry. And I've also connected this small portable screen to the HMI since I would need to connect a LAN cable now because the wireless connection is obviously not working anymore. And I don't have a LAN cable accessible right here, so we'll have to do it with this small screen. So let's try and turn it on. And we got the test picture. The hard drive is spinning and there's Barry Boot. Selecting Raspbian Live. I don't know if you can see that. And the Raspberry Pi is starting. And there we got the login. So it worked. And that's it for this video. So if you got the same problem where the Wi-Fi chip is overheating and the Raspberry Pi doesn't turn on anymore. You can just desolder the chip and use your Raspberry Pi as before, except you can't use any Wi-Fi connections anymore and you will need to use wired connections. If that's not a problem for you, 
The other thing you could do is just connect a Wi-Fi dongle to one of the USB ports and use that instead of the onboard Wi-Fi. So, bye!